previously on How Polly Survived. First thoughts after Tribal? Dude, oh, I'm so glad that Tribal went the way it did. Oh my god, that was so tough. Tribal went as expected, like thank god. It was a 4-3 to three vote. Um, old Wit and Charm stuck together, you know. We had to just eliminate the numbers and I'm just really relieved to make it out of my first Tribal Council alive, to be honest. Yeah. Um, why did you decide to change the vote to Lindsay last minute? We could have started off, right, with originally the plan being Jada, right? Wit and Charm were going to vote for Jada. Anyway, so from then on out, the vote was basically Jada, Jada, Jada. That was like the plan all through. All of a sudden, Jada calls Rachel randomly at 2.10 p.m. I remember this time. And she was like, and Rachel said, Jada called me and she said that she had the idol and that she was going to play it for herself tonight. I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. It has to be a fake, right? Like, that has to be a bluff, right? Um, Jada accidentally called me and told me she had an idol and that she was paranoid and she was gonna play it. And I was just like, okay, whatever. Yeah, sure, play it. Rachel got super paranoid that an idol was in play, but the vote was still, at that point, still Jada, Jada, Jada. 6 p.m. rolls around, 45 minutes before tribal, right? Jada calls me, but instead of a phone call, because that's what Rachel and Jada did. So Rachel couldn't confirm whether Jada had the idol or not. I did FaceTime call and that was meticulous. You know why? Because Jada told me she had the idol too. And I asked her to show me it. And she showed me all the proof in the world. She showed me the idol herself, which looks kind of legit. And she showed me the clue, the, the whole survivor note with the same phone, with the same cardboard piece of paper, the same font, the same survivor logo. It was a real idol and I knew it. And at that point, I had to think, do I really, do I really let Rachel go at this point or do I just change the vote? And I was like, I called everybody that was in the original OG Wit plus Charm Alliance or Worm Squad and boom, switched it over to Lindsay, which was originally my original plan. So honestly, I'm not even that mad to be honest that Lindsay's gone. So plans just changed literally last fucking minute right now. Literally five minutes before I'm leaving. Ch plans have fucking changed. This is gonna be fucking intense. I don't know because I just know, I just know who has the hidden immunity item. So I just gotta reveal who has it actually has it. So I'm fucking nervous. Um, obviously the original plan was Jada, but a lot happened within like a few hours before the Bible happened. Tim and Jada called like when we were about to, like 15 minutes before we were about to leave for tribal. So like it gave us very little time to plan things out. Luckily we did have a plan B, uh, which was Lindsay. So I emergency texted like everyone, plans off, it's legit, vote Lindsay. So Lindsay just got voted out and I have a new enemy, Rachel. I want her out of this game. I do not like her as a person. I do not like her as a player. I think that she is a liar. She's manipulative and she needs to go. Jada's face. Oh my God. She was, she could not have predicted, 
predicted it. I'm really glad she played her idol though because that makes voting her out at the next tribal a lot easier. I feel like after tribal, I was trying so hard to hold my tongue because I know sometimes you can say things in this game and it'll bite you in the butt. But Rachel turns to me and she says, you were just sussing me out. I was sussing you out the why didn't you write my name down, bitch? She was also talking shit about me to like Brenna right after the tribal, so classic. Like, of course she was gonna do that. But yeah, no, she, oh, oh! I felt my blood boiling like at Rachel and Brenna a little bit. Timon like talked to me afterwards and he apologized to me and he made it seem like he was on our side. So I'm disappointed in Brenna, but Brenna, I feel like she's the nicest person ever. So I can't get mad at her. But now that I voted Lindsay off, like I've got to work to maintain that trust with Jada and Liam. Rachel did tell me she told me at one point, like, Brenna, like, everybody loves you. Like, you're never gonna get, like, votes off for you. And I was like, what? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so that's always nice to hear. I said before that, like, Brenna could have been my closest ally, but I think it's Timon. Timon has been straight up with me from the get-go, so I feel like I'm just gonna tell him the most now. How last minute was that, or was that something that y'all planned from there? That was like, like less than an hour before tribal. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was that was pretty immediate. They were all just like about Lindsay, and I was like, I I trust I trust these people. So I think we're solid. I don't think we need to worry. We got grits um, immunity out, so we can just if we lose, we can just pick off whoever like is not in in bed with us. I'm gonna try to convince Sean because I actually like Sean. Like he's actually like someone I can work with. Um, and there's just like too much that happened already between the former grits. Um, but Sean was keeping a level head, so I think I might try to convince Sean to join up with us because we already have a majority, so it wouldn't help getting one more member in. All right, welcome back to Tribes. Cabrillo, Lindsay voted off at the last tribal council with uh, Sean taking her place. Um, with that being said, again, I'm gonna need immunity back. Um, gotta ask, uh, Cordy, what is your uh, first thoughts after seeing one of the old group members that are out in the tribe? You know, it is it is kind of tough. That's somebody that I worked with, somebody that I used to talk to, and you know, now that they're gone, it's a that's a severe bummer. That's, a, that's unfortunate. Sean, I'm gonna hear from you being on Exile Island. How was it being isolated all week, coming back and seeing another group member gone? It was tough, man. Didn't see anyone, didn't eat all week, facial hair is growing out, you know, it was really <laughs> hard out there. But it's good to be back. Finally get some food? Yeah, finally. There you go. <laughs> Alright, well, with all that being said, we'll jump into today's, into today's challenge, or I guess I would say the next couple of days challenge. Um, so here's how this challenge will work. Um, basically, we have a list of a whole bunch of uh, different small mini challenges or dares for each tribe to complete. Um, you guys each have the same list, and the way it's going to work is you have 48 hours to complete as many as you can. Um, whichever tribe completes the most wins immunity, and if you, buy, if you guys both complete both, if you guys both complete the list, then whoever finishes the list first wins immunity. Um, with that being said, we'll jump into it. It'll be in your own time, so we'll start now. You guys are free, free to, to start playing, and then the way it'll work is um, there's going to be... You guys are gonna have to record every single challenge or, or dare whatnot it is, or take a picture to prove that you uh, did it. And then um, at the end, whoever has, and then, yeah, so that's how it'll work. And then, um, however, this immunity will work a little bit differently. Um, we have a twist coming up, and the way that this will work is both tribes will be attending tribal council this week. Um, however, um, the team that does win immunity, the immu everyone will be voting this week. But immunity will only, uh, or immunity will be released after the votes are cast before it's read. So both tribes will be voting, and you can vote for anyone that's playing. You're still in your tribe, so you won't be able to talk to other players. I mean, unless you're at like tribe war or whatnot, you guys can obviously um, talk then. Um, but so there's going to be a lot of more layers of strategy, and you're going to have to figure out how to navigate that. Um, but essentially, what will happen is there'll be an idol was played for for uh, seven of you guys after the votes are cast. Um, so take that how, how you will. Figure out how you guys want to strategize uh, during the week. Um, so this is going to be a com complex week, but it'll hopefully be fun for all of you. Um, with that being said, um, we'll start the challenge now. So good luck to all of you, and I'll see everyone back for Monday where we'll have Tribal Council, and we'll have the fifth person vote out of Catwalk Survivors Season 3.
<laughs> Get in there! Get in there! Hi, Professor Templeton. Could you tell me, do you know about what Survivor is or Cal Poly Survivor? Uh, no clue about Cal Poly Survivor, but isn't Survivor on its like, I don't know, 100th season? Oh, um, do you want to go out? A girl in the UU? Out where? Uh, on a date. Okay, sure. What's, what's your name? I'm Sean. Sean, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> You think that's good? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys. So we got um 10, 10, 45. And another 10, 10, 45, and a 45 pound bar. Um so total we're gonna get a two. 65 on each side, which is one, 30 plus to 45, 175. Today I waited in the 174, 174. I love you, but F you, man. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Go, 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 go! Go! Yeah, I did it! You're gonna be wet! Alright, I'm passing the phone. The person with the most contagious smile. I'm passing the phone to someone who is dangerously close from getting voted off at Tribal last week. I'm passing the phone to the guy that was on Exile Island and is now on the Tokyo Tribe. My name's Sean, and I'm passing it to uh, someone who was really excited to take the math portion of the SAT. Uh, I'm passing the phone to somebody who decided to cut off two inches of their hair when they could have just went line dancing for the same amount of points. My name's Jada, and I'm passing the phone to a Grizzler! I'm passing this to the guy who has a zero live policy in Survivor. Alright, I'm on foothill. And I'm rolling down here. Dude, we're Liam here. We're on the fucking seesaw. Adventure of a lifetime. I got you, bro. I got you. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, I think that's good enough. Where is aha?
Oh, multi lap. Damn, boy. Race winner. Just don't think about it. <laughs> I'm gonna need more. <laughs> Tell me the story. Okay. Um, okay, so basically, he went and kissed me, I think, or he was like leaning in and getting really close, and then I dapped him up. Oh my god. This <laughs> is five minutes long. <laughs> and I run the show. Surviving every deadline they throw my way. They can't defeat me, I'll always have my say. Don't try to tell me who I am or what to be. Who is he? I'm a survivor at Cal Poly. Can't you see? Cal Poly survivor, never gonna give in. Won't let these professors get under my skin. Gotta keep pushing me through all the strife. Cause nothing's gonna stop me from living my life. Late night study sessions and group projects too. Sometimes it feels like there's just so much to do. But I hold on knowing that someday soon, all this hard work will pay off and I'll go to the moon. We just found the Survivor game picture. <laughs> Jump, jump, jump! Yeah! <laughs> He's crazy! Why is he Cabo? Like, did this remind you of what Cabo would feel like? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a Cabo right now. It's like a big Cabo vibe. Big Cabo vibe. Count to 5,000, but I'm gonna put my phone right here. I'm driving. So you're gonna have to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three
2000. Make it eight five five years. Make it a year of the Golden Dragon. 2000. Ooh, you ain't born in 2000. You can suck up. Uh, all right. All right, little update. Just finished doing some of my challenges for uh, the the challenge this week. Me and my team completed a lot of the challenges and they were absolutely so fun. It was a really good time. I enjoyed them. They started that clock Thursday night and we uh, we went into Friday night like having like everything, which was freaking amazing. We had a challenge that was 48 hours and we had to do as many like dare challenges as we could within that time. Um, and so what first happened was that was the night of Brooke's birthday. So she was out celebrating and she wasn't able to do a lot of the challenges that we got done all on Thursday. And so a lot of people were kind of upset, I guess, that she didn't contribute as much as others, but it was also her birthday. Brooke did not do shit. So she's gonna go home at some point, but I like this. Drew did a couple of challenges before he left for the night, but he was just like going out. Um, and so I think some people were upset. After communicating with my tribe mates, I wanna get Lexi out. She is annoying the crap out of me. She is so bossy and doesn't listen. It makes things, everything way more complicated than they need to be. All of us had plans. Like we had homework, we had stuff to do or going out. And so like we sacrificed that to get these done. So I think some people were put off by Drew because he just went out like for fun. My mom always told me, if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say it at all. For this next challenge, both teams are going to be together voting. And I honestly have no idea what to do. If my team wins this, I feel like we could really get ahead, but I don't even know who to vote for. I get a sense that Drew and Brooke are definitely outcasts within this game, and I need to play that to my advantage. I really need to play that to my advantage. Cordy and I are good right now. Thing is, I think Cordy has enough pull right now with everyone. Like, everyone loves Cordy. Currently, as far as Alliance goes, I'm talking with Troy quite a bit. I'm talking with Lexi. I'm actually talking with everybody. <laughs> this morning, I felt like, oh, you know, this is probably gonna be an easy vote because it's either gonna be Rachel from Blue, so it'll like lower their numbers, or it'll be someone on our tribe, which was gonna be either Brooke or Drew. But either way, we were all like set thinking it was Blue. Apparently we were not all set. Blue has all of their members, so it makes sense to cut down Blue so that when we get to the merge, it's more even. When we tried to suggest Brooke, Lexi's like, no, I think we can work with Brooke. She's a good person to work with, even though she doesn't do much, you know, she'll follow what I say. I was trying to convince people to keep Brooke because she's like one of my close allies and I know that I can trust her. So I wanted to keep her in the game. And 
I don't trust Drew, so I wanted to, did not want to keep him in the game. When we try to bring up Drew, she's that's the only like blue that she's willing to get rid of. And he's the blue that like no one's talking to. Like he's like the most outcast out of everyone. He's the only one that she's willing to get out. So I got a Drew here. We're what both we're uh, in flag football class. No one's shown me anything because we haven't had to go to trial. Yeah, right, you haven't go to trial. So I haven't really formed. I have a little thing going with um, Troy. Okay. I think that like I can trust him, so I'm not really sure like who I'd vote out, but I know my other charm member, Lizeth mm -hmm. and Troy, we have like a little three-way alliance that we could probably bring you in on or something. I mean, I would like that. Yeah, I, have I, mean, a, I have a little alliance going on with Troy too. Oh really? Oh, okay, that'd be yeah. really good then. Maybe Troy's just aligned with everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm on the outs, but okay. since we haven't gone, had to go on the tribal. Okay, so Drew just texted me asking where my head is at concerning the vote and we did talk about both him and Brooke. I think he might be a little bit worried. I think I'm gonna tell him Brooke, which I think at this point is just a truth. Yeah, we should we should definitely say Brooke. Which yeah, we're not, we're not even lying. It's um, gonna be Drew or Brooke, but we also can't tell him that's gonna be him. So I think Brooke's a good option um, because we actually might end up voting for Brooke anyways. I think it's us. honestly just fair. Like he did more this challenge than Brooke did. So yeah. I think it would be unfair just to vote him out. Like <laughs> if he's like had tensions with the tribe, like he did more work in this challenge. I've been thinking about like where I stand in the High Gear tribe. And like, I know I'm cool with people one-on-one, -on -one, but I haven't been in any like group conversations really, or like heard any plans really. And so right now I think that I'm on the outs. As far as figuring out a vote, it's going to be a little tough. Honestly, I was initially thinking Jada. Jada and I were really tight. And today, I found out she lied to me about an immunity idol. And while I'm a nice guy and everything, if you lie to me, you die by me. I can't let that happen. I was looking at the other teammates and I want to keep Sean alive. I want to do everything I can to keep Sean alive. And I think that means keeping Jada alive at the moment. As much as I really want to vote her out because she lied to my face multiple times about the idol. And then also keeping Liam alive. So this is my old grit team on the other team. But we were talking and we were thinking of voting one of the charm on the other team because they seem to be kind of running things. So we can't let that happen, you know? It seems like Troy thinks he's calling the shots, but I don't think anyone on my team has realized that I was also like the strategist. What's going to happen is me, Lexi, and Troy are going to vote Brianna. We're going to tell Brooke and Drew on our team to also vote Brianna. Brenna. And then we are going to tell Lizeth and Nick, which are close to Brenna on the other team, uh, to vote Brooke or Drew. So this is full coverage. So we're placing five total votes on Brenna. And Drew and Lizeth are placing votes on Drew or Brooke together so that in the event that we did not win this challenge tonight, we are not going home. The five of us. Troy, Lexi, me, Lizeth, and Nick are not going home. It will be Drew or Brooke. Troy and Cordy came up with the plan to vote out Brenna on the other team. Like that's how we were gonna split our votes. And then two, I don't, I think it was five and two, two votes for either Brooke or Drew. And so they had talked about this with Nick and Lizeth. Plan B was to put all of our votes on one person on the other tribe. And that was if we were under the impression that we like definitely won immunity rest of us would vote for um jada because we knew that jada that was one of our other options was we knew that jada was on the outs with her tribe so we had like thought like who should we vote for like who are they going to also throw votes at i'm trying to make a scary alliance with troy trying to get you know the big players in the game and ideally it'd be me troy lexi and sean and that'd be great so thinking about this, it's like we need, so you, you're confident that we, you think we won. No, I'm the one that thinks we shouldn't be super confident that we won. But in the case that we did win, um, Lizeth brought a good point of the advantage. We don't know what the advantage is. Maybe that buys him another vote or... I but if he doesn't blow it... You're talking about Prof. Yeah, Prof. Prof. I think, Prof. I do not think we should vote Prof. Because of because of that. No, I don't think we should either. Drew and like Drew is like hard wanting to push. Yes, I talked to Drew because like I said we have like. And I tried to say like I don't think he's a good idea, but then I don't know. He brought up a good point that if Prathen isn't expecting it, blindside idol, or like his advantage and potentially your guys' idol is gone. 
because someone has your guys' idol. We don't have our idol. I'll just someone, I don't think we, someone okay. has. That's There's what they believe too. So, so, Anyways, but this was so, going. So in any event, Carlton's not a good vote tonight because he he probably has it right. But if they if we win and we vote Prophet, and he can nullifies all our votes. What happened no to matter Jada? what, somebody still would have to go home on their tribe. Probably what happened to Buddy for Jada? I thought that was pretty high on the list. Now all of a sudden, this Prophet, my old tribe member. I don't, I don't think Jada's a smart vote tonight. Cause, cause what I was thinking is that she's gonna get taken out. Like, she's gonna get taken out no matter what. Are we sure about that? Because the player is dangerous to her. That she almost, no, did you know that, that she almost got good. voted out last week? It she, wasn't her. She flashed her idol. Yeah. That's what saved her. She flashed her idol. But she never played it. They, she, she did she play did. it. Oh, she did play it. So oh. she is idolless, or as of this moment, defenseless. And I say we keep like keep her around because she's an obvious threat. Um, but if, but if because she's the person that's gonna run around like but so is but alliances. so is Prothum. That's like that's my argument. Right. Is he did not I, tell like the entire game knew about this advantage, except you guys. Because we watched him fucking open it in front of our eyes. It was the funniest that thing. That was a pretty dumb thing to do. I even told him last time I saw him. I was like, bro, why'd you have to do that? Like, everyone's gunning for you now. Good. We're talking a little bit about something crazy. Hey. All right, we're all back. Um, <laughs> this is kind of our main group over here. Lexi's not here. Oh, That's nothing against Lexi. Here. We just kind of forgot the fighter. I was under the impression. Almost the whole like challenge, the whole time the tribe was talking, it was all like, okay, let's get Drew out or let's get Brooke out, like one of them. That's what I was under the impression because Blue has everyone left on their tribes. Yeah. Drew does not like Lexi. Well, well, that, we don't really want to work with Drew in the future, do we? Yeah. No, which is why he's not invited to this meeting because we're going to keep about voting him out yeah. <laughs> pretty soon. Because and Brooke. See, when I brought up Brooke, like, the first okay, one should we get out, like maybe like bring like offer it up. Brooke or Drew, and she was like, oh, I think we can use Brooke. And she gave a really good defense for it, which I think is good. Them being six strong is a little scary. Yeah. Wait, she's on the point that we shouldn't vote for anybody on our tribe, which makes sense. We should not do that. Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about our tribe? Is I mean, it our current though. tribe? Yeah. Oh, see what Brooke I think, like, we I just think... won this challenge. I feel like. I think we should do a 5-2 split. Like 5 on them, 2 on us? Yes. So, so out of the 7 of us, we we tell Drew and Brooke to vote with whoever, like they're, Drew and Brooke are two of these 5 people that are voting yeah. today. And then two other people on their team vote for like Drew. Okay. And so what that does is it's like a safe bet that if we lost or something, like there's some automatic points there. Okay. And Joey's gonna see that half the team voted for him and then he's gonna... I think just two people. It could be, especially, especially with how many votes are gonna be cast tonight, it's impossible to tell what happened to you. And, and I, I know I'm encouraging dishonesty here, but you're, you, are you guys close to the problem? He was not our old tribe. But he I'm talked gonna... the least. Today, when we all go to meet up in the library, first thing Corey says... I was thinking originally... Probably there. Right now. Okay. But I don't know if you guys are reluctant to, because I know like OG Charm and everything. Yeah. Like, Why would you suggest Brenna? Like, we, Charm only has four members left. Why does it make sense to vote out the Charm member? Like, explain this. And he basically goes. But Brenna seems to be like kind of like the ringleader of the other team. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> Brenna, <laughs> Brenna ringleader of the other team? Like, give us more information. And we're just like hearing it. And both of us were looking at each other like. What reason is there to vote out Brenna? I'm thinking of who is going to vote who on the other team. Yeah. And I think I think that Brenna is going to be the hard, obvious target. I, 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 like Rachel. So that's what I was originally thinking too. Yeah. But I think that like Brenna would be a bigger threat than Rachel. Corey, the thing that I learned from this tribal is that Corey is still thinking in the old tribe. And all he says is we need to think about the new tribe, the new tribe, you know, we are now Cabrillo and Higuera. But he's only thinking about his old tribe. You know how bad I want Jada out of this game. No, she might that's the thing. Why would I want Jada out playing? Because she's a dangerous player. I don't want to vote so out my, my very small charm tribe. That's all very lovely like, and charming. <laughs> but, but so you guys are thinking about old numbers, not new numbers. Because because like from the start of this game, my focus had been to get Grit to like the merge and yeah. then Yeah, well because I like the tribe, like our... What are the actual chances that you guys do your own thing though? Our Hygeria tribe, as If you have are. the members coming to the merge, why would you not stick together? And that's what worries me. That's what I mean, like, okay, I think you would Sticking. stick with us, but I think yes. all of them on the other tribe, Cabrillo, since they're 
grit, like they still think of themselves as grit, like the tension in that tribe. I'm sure well, they're all just gonna stick together. You're, you're talking about the old grit team. Yeah, I'm saying I, like- I don't think so. Cordy would not hear about voting anyone out on Orange. She was like, oh, let's not vote Jada because, you know, she probably has an idol. Let's not vote Sean because he probably has something. Let's not vote Liam because he'll probably get out later. These are a lot of people that we just like, shouldn't touch, you know, because you tell us to. Why, why is Prophet not labeled as high threat level? Why is Jada so, not labeled so, so as high threat level? those two would normally be the normal things, but I'm, yeah. I'm like ensuring you that tonight, like there's, there's something like weird over there. I this vote, this vote has me pissed. Like, what, what do we gain? What do we gain? Yeah, yeah. Because it sounds like we lose and you guys gain. Like, who's, I'm just wait, saying. wait, wait, wait. So that's, that's a dangerous game. Who's you guys? I, I don't trust Cordy. I don't trust Drew. I feel like Nick and I just kind of have to stick together, but we're kind of loners. So let's let's so not more think about my old group. I just like Brenda as a person. I don't really want to put her name. I don't think she deserves to like, put, have her name written down. I want a good reason that to someone who hasn't really like done anything. You so know? then she's would, the ringleader of the, the other the team. Reason so I'm the ringleader? That, the, the reason the ringleader? Is, is that we think they're going to vote for her. So we want our votes to be on top of their books. Okay. Like, I know that on the other tribe, like, if anyone were to bring up, like, my name or Nick's name, like, Brenna would probably be the one to be like, oh, no, don't do that. Like, you know, she'd probably be the only one to defend us, like, over there. That's why it's kind of like, it hurts us, you know? Like, if we were to lose I, this challenge. And, and by all means, like, oh, I guess, Mark, Mark, just the actual one. Like we're talking about like, TV, guys, she's talking about it. I don't know oh. how I'm supposed to work with Cordy after this because we're supposed to be, like, super tight. And, the thing is, I don't even know if we're that tight as like I think we are, because he's probably talking to everyone too. I don't know what he's telling other people. So I felt like I put my effort enough for the tribe, but when I talked around with people, people seemed really unconfident that we were gonna lose this challenge. And I was actually kind of surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if we lose oh no we definitely lost everyone thinks we're losing jada says we think we're losing sean thinks we're losing even rachel thinks we're losing so like that's like that's not ideal basically speaking of the next tribal that's really interesting um i think what i want to do is go with jada again regardless of if we win or not that's our safe vote we were gonna vote for her anyways like so it makes no sense why we would change that i'm pretty upset at Rachel. I feel like she's playing like, like she's literally a high school mean girl. We can't risk taking this chance to vote someone else out on the other tribe um, if we don't know if we're gonna win. So I'll have to talk with my alliance, but right now I'm thinking I want Jada out. I just got off of a group FaceTime with Pratham, Timon, and Rachel. We said that Rachel's gonna vote for Jada, but then me, Prothum, and Timon are gonna vote for Drew on Hagara tribe. I suggested to, um, we have a Cabrillo group chat with like everybody in the tribe. I suggested like as a unanimous vote that we all vote for someone on the other tribe. And I suggested a whip member. I, I'll have to talk about this, but like I suggested it because wit has the most people across all tribes. It only seems fair. We've never been a tribe, or those four on the other tribe have never been a tribal. We can't, I don't want to pick off people from Charm. I'm aligned with the Charm members in this tribe. I don't want to pick off people from Grit. They only have one Grit member on the other tribe. So I suggested out of the four people on the other tribe, Drew. I supported it by saying that Drew was probably like one of their best physical members on the tribe that was also Wit member and most people agreed however i will be voting for jada i am voting for her just be in the off chance that she votes for me and the rest of my tribe votes for drew but the other tribe wins because if jada votes for me and everyone votes for drew but drew wins immunity i go home it's honestly anybody's game i don't know who the other tribe is going to pick um, if they pick any of us to vote off, I would hope that it's either Jada or Liam because the majority of um, Hygera is wit and charm. That's our plan A. Our plan B is that we all vote for Jada. What it would take to do plan B is if we're like talking to people in Hygera tribe at tribal and we hear like they finish the challenge, like they're gonna get immunity. Everyone thinks that the seven of them on Hygera, they're united. 
And I believe that. And they would vote for one of us, Cabrillos, to go home. And I think that the seven of them, the easiest name for them to say is Jada. 100% Jada. And it makes the most sense. It just sucks because Jada's such a game player, but I can totally see us like being friends outside of this. But I can't really trust her in the long run. Everyone knows that she doesn't have any protection anymore. Like that stuff spreads fast out here. And two, there's only one grit max on the other tribe, which is Cordy. And Jada told me that she talked with Cordy right after Tribal, and Cordy said that he was pissed at Jada. So I just got done sobbing, crying, throwing up, and screaming. No, I'm just kidding, just crying. I don't wanna be voted off. And I think that at this point, people want me off. Uh, I don't know. But I know that people don't like me. Why don't people like me? After the, tri the tribal and the challenge was announced, we split up. Um, we did a few like right then and there. Um, and then we split up. Me and Brenna stayed together. Me and Brenna bumped into Sean. And then I filled in Sean on everything. Or not everything, as much as I could, just to think about how, why we chose Jada or, or Lindsay and like why it had to be a grip member. He totally understood. Right after the challenge, so when the challenge got released, right, and the twist got announced, I went to do the tasks with Pratham and Sean. I did some, pro I did some challenges with Pratham and Sean and Pratham eventually had to leave. So it was just me and Sean basically. And Sean kind of approached me and was like, we should talk some game. And I was legit, dude, I'm legit down. Yo, what's up? I'm here with Sean. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just doing the challenge, but like, now we're low-key talking about <laughs> game now. All of a sudden, basically we're saying like, I mean, we can obviously low-key be like a duo that nobody expects. I I think it's a really good idea yeah. to like diversify. Mm -hmm. People would have no clue. Mm -hmm. People would not think of us as right. threats with each other. Definitely. So they're like, oh, they're fine. Like, no one's worried. Exactly, about. yeah. Like, cause like, I mean, look at us. No, I show. actually, I think we're like, the perfect duo because of that. We're like, like literally polar opposites. Exactly. Like, like, nobody would expect it. And like, how, feel, how close do you feel with like your like people that are on grit? Because like I know I mean, like- Jada's um, really cool. Yeah. A uh, huge threat. Yeah. She's a, like an exactly. insane. Mm -hmm. I like her a lot. Right. Like I actually like, she's cool. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. Her. she's super cool and all, but like she's probably the biggest threat, honestly. In the game. Yeah. I, sure. I think playing the idol, I had no clue she had. So that's kind of just like, yeah. oh damn. Like you had this the whole time. <laughs> like you are, Easily the biggest threat. Like I, think, I, have, I know nothing. Like I, yeah. I've just been placed in. So no, 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 now seriously, it's like, seriously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would be good for me to okay, start so talking to? I'm gonna be on the strongest. The other person that was like part of the vote, like I think, is the strongest in the strongest position, is Brenna. That's what I was getting as well. Because, it also seemed like yeah. she was running charm when they would like yeah. talk and stuff. I was like, oh, this girl's definitely kind of yeah put she, it together. Because like, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't talked to the prof on like individually. Like, I never reached out to him and be like, game wise. Every time it's game with Pratham, Brenna's gonna be up. So she, so Pratham's just gonna do whatever. I think so, yeah. Okay, after the challenge, right? Immediately after the challenge, Brenna told me that the grids immediately approached her because they really liked her. So she already had that bond. And then during tribal, whatever, like that, when Lindsay was voted out, Jada was like, kind of like, kind of like confused that uh, Brenna, and was like, why'd you do that? Lindsay said that she was your favorite. So like, Brenna legit was like super good with everybody, like Jada, Lindsay, I don't know about Liam though, but... Okay, Liam is, Liam is I identified shit. him very early. He is the guy you take to the final. Yeah, absolutely. He is garbage. He's not gonna win, <laughs> absolutely. No, no, but he will make it incredibly good. Rachel... Rachel's like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm, I don't wanna be mean, but like if Rachel gets the merge, she's mergeable. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, because she's like... She's the biggest schemer on her tribe. Yeah. Right? Okay, like... I'm gonna tell you something, like, this might actually hurt my game, but I'm, I feel like I, 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 I- I'm like genuine, like, worried. Yeah, no, no, Okay, so straight up, Jada told me she had the idol. 15 minutes before tribal council. Were you guys planning on Lindsay or- We were planning on Jada, straight up. Why the fuck did she tell anyone? Yeah, so, and then here's the thing, right? 6 p.m. goes around. Jada calls me, and she said she has the idol. She showed me it and showed me the note as well. So she was- I knew it was legit. So the vote was originally Jada. I have no clue to be honest. What? The last 15 minutes is swapped from Jada to Lindsay just because. Yeah, no, it 100%. Yeah. 100% Jada. 
Like legit, this is like the only, the biggest game information that like I'm telling you right now. But like legit, like I, f I fuck with this to be honest. No, I think this is gonna be like A. I think it could be really strong for right. us. B. I think it'd be hella funny. Like I'm trying to think of like something I can tell you to yeah try and like. I mean, legit, that's like, like the, the same. Yeah, yeah, no, I get like, you. Like, you're giving me so much. That's and, like, the biggest information. I've been out of the game for a bit. So, no, like, no, no, everything, I think, changed I mean, while I was gone. Did you honestly get anything in Exile? Or was no. it, like, legit? You I got a clue. Oh. To an idol? I spent hours. It's a separate idol. It's like an Exile idol. Oh. I got a clue. We can keep that, like... Yeah, I'm down with that. Absolutely. Very much. Yeah. Tight between that. Mm -hmm. I mean, like... Right. I, I like, this is me trying to, like, yeah, no, 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 prove no, 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 to you. Sure. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you told me information that right. you think can screw you. Yeah. I'm telling you information that can absolutely screw me. Yeah. Day one of exile. Haven't eaten since I last saw my tribe. Haven't drank anything. Just came to the amazing Arboretum for the first time ever. Met some nice people. Asked them if they could point out, um what a topiary is. And then in the very first pot near the entrance, just grabbed this. Stuck on an irrational number, no repeating pattern. Irrational number with no repeating pattern. And this kind of looks like the top of the pie symbol. I have to uh, subtract Australia from the Mediterranean basin. Um, no clue what that means. Let's freaking go. Just journeyed to South Africa. Just kidding. I'm an imbecile. Australia, South Africa, Chile. Hour two and a half of searching for this idol. I'm truly getting the Exile Island experience because I'm hungry as fuck right now. Always a good sign when you have to commit a felony to get a uh, idol. I've ended up in the um, math and science building as I noticed on the sign um, Australia had 22 next to it and Mediterranean Basin had 60 60 minus 22 is 38 this is building 38 and then the clue becomes a lot of math so the clue I finally found in the math and science building on a, a room with a clock that was stuck on 314, whatever chair on the 3-4 grid or whatever. And I read it and said, go back to where you came, find a trio of jagged posts with birds on them. Right here at the base, I got it. Freaking idol. So the idol says, or the clue says, um, it can be only played up until the merge, which is really interesting. And that gives me a lot of ideas. Um, you're the only person I've even talked to. Yeah. I have a feeling we are gonna win this challenge. You don't think so? I was just thinking about it. Yeah. I just like, we saw all of them at the rack. Today. Yeah, they were like scary. trying hard. They were like going in and like. We should have like a name for our duo, low key dude. What do you think? Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Like, I mean, David versus Goliath. <gasps> David and Goliath. David dude. and Goliath. I'm down. Up. I'm down. I'm not with trying you. to call myself a Goliath, but I'm just a big ass dude. Yeah, and not trying to call myself a David, but I'm small as fuck. This is so good. This is good. I'm super down. I'm so down for this, dude. David. David versus Goliath. Let's David and go. Goliath. Let's David fucking and do. Goliath. David, not David versus Goliath. David and Goliath together, bro. Bro, that's, that's going to be the name of the episode. Yo, this better be the name. That'll hashtag the, David and Goliath. Yeah, hashtag bro. David Better and hashtag Goliath. that, dude. <laughs> right now, like, I consider Sean my closest ally at this point. 100% my closest ally, Sean. I'm with Sean here, yeah. David and Goliath, yeah. and freaking Sean found the hidden immunity idol. What the heck, dude? This is so cool. Congrats, you found the hidden immunity idol. When play a travel council, you must cast against you. You play the idol for yourself or someone else. You must do so anytime before the votes are read, but after all the votes have been cast. If you do not use the idol and are voted out, the idol no longer has any power in the game. The idol can only be played until the merge. Do you really think we lose this challenge though? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. 
which I like. I think this is where like, this is a very this is a tricky vote then for sure. Right, like, and I think that's why we have to meet. exactly so, like, yeah, discuss yeah, yeah. Like, just to discuss. There's it. so many. We want to. I want to make a big move with the idol. Why are we giving an idol if we're, and we're not going to make a big move? What if like with Jada specifically, we give her the idol yeah. beforehand, uh -huh. but we for sure who's willing to vote for jada on the other side the only per like lizeth will vote for jada from charm nick will vote for jada from charm all the other troy would for sure vote for jada um lexi yeah everyone on wit would probably vote for Cordy jada would be the only question mark and Jordan i think even he, he would still go for it okay yeah i think he would know like, yeah people are going to be voting for me and it's very likely that i could go home Sean wants to give his hidden immunity idol to Jada. If I didn't have Sean as an ally, Sean got a new idol from Exile Island. Nobody's gonna expect me to have an idol because I already played it. He says that he doesn't want to play his idol for me at Tribal because that could put a target on his back because people are already after me. So he says he might give me his idol so I could pull it out and play it on myself. Oh, oh my god, oh, I might be saved. I might be saved. Okay, so this is Operation, uh, what, we're getting Brenna out, right? Operation, yeah. uh, like, eliminate the secret queen or eliminate the, eliminate something, eliminate the, eliminate the, the sitting princess. The city princess. Eliminate the city princess. Rachel and Brenna, they have an alliance going. I thought that Brenna was gonna wanna be on our side, but she chose and at this point even though like me and rachel like we clash personalities and even though i don't like her and i want her out i think brenna might be the bigger threat because it's so obvious like that girl is a charm like she is so charming she is so nice and like such a good liar same with timon but i like timon and even though he didn't vote with us like i I feel closest to Timon than I do Brenna, Rachel, or Prothum. And of course, like I'm close to the old remaining Grit tribe, but I think that this next vote should be Brenna. Jada still trusts me, even though I was the one that screwed her over. And I genuinely believe she still trusts me because I, I don't think she would tell Brenna this. Tribal council? Uh, yeah, tribal tonight, however, Got a little bit of a trick up our sleeves. We do. Um, Jado, what's your plan this evening? So my plan this evening is to just be an absolute menace. I'm gonna try to get every single person to wanna vote me out. And when they do, I'm gonna pull out that bad boy. Jada's gonna start live travel council and gonna try to get all the attention on her. She's gonna tell everybody to vote for Rachel. That's like the main thing, but Rachel's not the target. Rachel will get super, super paranoid that she's gonna get up to and then talk to everybody else as well. And then all the votes go on Jada, basically. Me, Liam, um, Jada, and Sean all vote for Brenna to go home. So live tribal. Live tribal. That's gonna be fun. That's I, gonna be so no, fun. That's gonna be crazy. And I can't wait to see this idol can only be played until the merge. So. We have, I don't know, two tribals to want to play this. Yes. Um, two or three. And I feel like this is a good time as any. Yeah, I agree. Keep it in the game. This would also make it so if all the votes go according to plan, we would have, um, Brenna would be gone. Let's say we go to tribal again Thursday. We would then have a four to two with Prophem, Rachel. Yeah. As the votes. Even if Prophem has... Uh, an, an advantage. Like the extra yeah. Um, it would just be three to two. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit scared of how much drama is arising. Um, started out in the tribe where there was pretty much no lying whatsoever. There's a lot of plans happening. I'm a little overwhelmed by it. I'm trying to stay out of it for the most part. We'll see. Maybe I'll get kicked out. Whatever. But yeah, basically, it does sound like Cabrillo has been kind of not being very truthful. But hey. We'll figure out what happens and I'll check in after the tribal. Things have changed a little bit. So, um, in order to 
secure that the fact that I'm not going home because um, Brenna talked to Jada and Jada's most definitely voting for me this tribal. Um, I am voting for Jada and I also got Prof and Rita voting for, for Jada. Um, I think I'm just gonna vote Lindsay. Oh uh, no, not Lindsay, sorry, um, Jada. I was told to vote Rachel, uh, to vote Jada from Rachel, so that's what I'm gonna do. But do have you already heard of the Worm Squad? That's like the alliance we have. I also asked him in on the side secretly to vote for Jada. So that's three votes Jada, at least for my tribe, um, so that if we lose, I'm not the one going home. If we end up voting Jada, and then she stays in somehow, she's never gonna trust me again. Like, she's never gonna trust me, but, I don't think my name's on the chopping block, <laughs> but some feathers are gonna be ruffled tomorrow. <laughs>Season. We've got 14 people here, which makes this the largest travel council of all of Cal Poly Survivor history. Uh, back in season one, we had 14 people to start the season, so now it's as if all of you guys are going to travel at once. Um, unfortunately, we have the fifth person voted out of Cal Poly Survivor, um, which is going to be one of you 14 people. Um, so I guess congratulations on making final four. Um, but I'm excited to hear about your thoughts on this last challenge and this twist and. Uh, Jump into it and see what happens. So just to start it off, um, Drew, talk me through how is it how is it being in tribe for the first time? Uh, it's a little nerve wracking, you know. It's better than I expected it to look. <laughs> you know, I watched the season one episode one and it was outside and I was scared I was gonna be cold since I'm wearing shorts. But you know, it's fun. I, I hope I don't get voted out in my first travel. That'd be kind of sad. Obviously, without revealing who won the challenge, um, Cordy, how do you feel? Um, your tribe did it as a whole, just like doing the challenge. How did you feel doing that? And, and, and how, talk, talk me through how it was competing in that fun challenge. Yeah, coming into this, especially as, as a lone wolf on my team, it was a little, it was a little weird, but we built, uh, we built our teamwork and, and as a team uh, uh, tremendously over this challenge because we all put in a lot of work to try to get it done as fast as we could. So, you know, we're trying to, uh, you know, really, really build as a team, and that's that's been a, an extreme challenge. Sean, what about for your tribe? How do you feel it was uh, having your tribe compete in this long challenge took place over 48 hours? Um, it was really exciting seeing like pretty much like, quite a long time. Every second, someone who was texting, "I'm doing this, I'm doing this," like someone sending a funny ass video of them like trying to eat some wings. Or, I don't know. It was like very enjoyable, and I felt like. I just saw some like, pretty funny sides of these people that I just haven't known yet. Just, when I was gone and came in, we just started talking to them, and then we would be the top right into it. It was, um, it was really fun. I mean, yeah. I think it was also like a stress thing added to it, like what if the other team like in front of us. And also, like it lasted like two days, so that's like a lot of our time that we put into like the challenges. I just felt like it was just it just took forever for us to finally complete all our stuff, you know. And I was just like wondering, like, do we have any challenges that last like more than a day for future survivor things? Uh, <laughs> put me on the spot. Um, I look, you don't even know to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do all the challenge stuff, so. Hey Josh, list every challenge that's coming. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, definitely. I know it was a long challenge with a lot of time, but hopefully you guys got to uh, get along and get to know some of your tribe mates better. Um, as, as Sean was saying, it was definitely a uh, way to see some other sides of your tribe mates just playing the game. Um, but aside from that, um, uh, Lassie, take me through just in terms of, obviously this is a weird twist, right? This is your first tribal, but potentially for one of these, for one of these tribes, seven of them are going to have immunity. The other tribe, you might have to vote someone that you have never met or they might be joining you. How does that, how does that feel coming into that? Yeah, no, um, being my first trial council, this was like a huge twist, like it's not even normal, it's like super, a lot of twist and turn and a lot of strategy went into it, but also um, just doing the challenge, we were always wondering like if they did more than us or if, who was like ahead and I think that's, um, it was just all very new. Definitely. Brenna, what about for, uh, for your trial, how do you feel about that? I'm honestly really proud of all of us. 
I got buried in the sand. That was an experience. Um, what was the question again? <laughs> just, just about the twist itself and like coming into the night and potentially voting for someone you don't know or having someone that you don't know vote you. How does that feel going into the night? I'm definitely really paranoid because, again, this is built off of like connection and like the trust of people and like I don't even know some of the people on the other side. So the thought of them voting for me scares me, but everything happens for a reason, I guess. Jada, after last week, how do you feel coming tonight and going to this dress as well? Oh my goodness, Josh, I am terrified right now. I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to be writing my name down tonight, but I just, I don't want to go down without a fight. And I just want to say that there are people that I am sitting next to that I believe should be voted out before I am. I'm not talking to you at all. Okay. <laughs> I think that there are people on my tribe that are playing all sides, and I actually want to tell some people some things. Oh, shit, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jane's getting up and uh, talking, talking to Troy. Yeah, <laughs> Is that legal? Yeah, it's legal. Seems like everyone's getting up trying to talk to other tribes. <laughs> Rachel's getting into it now too. <laughs> I mean, you gotta remember, neither of these tribes got to talk to each other all this last week, so. <laughs> now all of you here try to talk to each other. <laughs> People still whispering to each other. <laughs> Obviously, a first for Cowboys Survivor, uh, Survivor history. Um, we've seen the show. Obviously, people getting up and whispering. I'm sure this twist. There's oh, there's still more going on. with uh, with this twist. Obviously, you guys haven't been able to talk to each other. So you don't you don't actually know what's going on. Um, I hear Drew saying just stick to whatever that means. Um, I see Jada going. <laughs> talk Rachel talking to other people. Everyone's getting up. Um, Ra Rachel, talk me through how. What, what was it? What, what just happened? What, what's going on right now? Well, to keep our tribe united, I think we all had a plan to like vote for the other tribe because I didn't want to like piss anybody off. So I might have suggested a name out there, but I don't plan on sticking to that thing. Like from your original plan, what yeah. you're saying? Gotcha. So you're, you're saying things are switching now. No, Jada, they were never in play, but like. <laughs> Jada, obviously, you you were the one that started that and got up. Was that just because you're feeling unsafe, or? I just I don't want to go down without a fight. I feel like. I'm already, I'm in a really bad position because the person that I tried to vote out last, last week is sitting right next to us and I know that she still has all of her remaining like original tribe members still here and that just puts me in an extremely dangerous situation. Everyone's still whispering. <laughs> <laughs> um, was that thinking through what, what's, what's going on over there on, on the other side of uh, the sporty people? We're chilling. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what the plan was over there if it was just to ruffle our feathers or if there's actually something going on, but I think we're good. Troy, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm intrigued. I was told some interesting information, so I don't necessarily know what to think about it. Uh, and I, yeah, I'd say I'm still thinking about it. Definitely. Um, Tim, how does how does it play a factor in this uh, in this vote? Obviously, neither of you guys talked all week. And now you're seeing that some of that comes out. Do you think that whatever people's claims going into tonight are going to be the same, or do you think after all this going on, like stuff is going to change? And now you're worried about what what could be a result tonight. I mean, you just you just saw what happened. Like people from our tribe got up and like started whispering to them, and then everyone over there is like. Stick to the plan, guys. We're fine. We're chilling out here. So, like, I mean, I don't think the plan that is going on over here, or the suspected plan, is going to be the same, but I'm assuming theirs is going to be the same. And I don't know if that means that I'm in trouble or who ever on my tribe's in trouble, but, like, yeah, I'm pretty nervous, though, overall. Like, I'm shaking my boots. 
Oh. All the wish is still happening. Some thumbs up, some people aren't sure. So just curious to see what happens. Brooke, what's your take on Ireland so far? Um, honestly, I think I'm not changing my opinion on what we decided in my tribe. I'm not sure if any of my other tribal mates will change their opinion, but I think I'm sticking to what my original decision is. Definitely. Nick, um, obviously there's two charm in that tribe, um, two charm in this tribe. There's four wit there. To it here, how does it play a factor in the old travel lines? Do you think that plays a factor in especially talking between travel lines right now, or do you think that there is these new settings, or is there more divisions between that? Um, I think it does play a factor in the end game, but I think for this vote, the ultimate have to decide what we think is best for us as our current tribe, and that is what is getting played for tonight's tribe. Definitely. Wait, um, can we still like whisper stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you can get up if you want to. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you can talk if you guys want to. You're free to. <laughs> 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 Wait, how's your guys' order going? It turns out a Liam and Sean, you guys are obviously sitting still over there, your tribe is spinning up. What, what, how do you guys feel? Um, scared as shit. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't really know if we're going to be able to do it. It's just like, I don't know. Josh, my timber is sitting in the I am a little confused as to what's happening, but you know what? Um, I'm mostly just holding my judgment for what happens afterwards. <laughs> We're just watching a whole bunch of different people, a bunch of people whisper and uh, try and see what's going on right now. Obviously, it seems like you can clearly tell that this tribe, there seems to be a lot of scrambling going on, a lot of uh, other stuff. Obviously, that's what the perception is. And this tribe is all sit sitting in a circle talking to each other. So there's definitely two different perceptions of what's going on right now. So Drew, from your perspective, how does that like show a difference between the tribes and potentially the next vote? Uh, I think we're solid seven, and they're scrambled seven. Brenna, what do you think tonight's vibe for the vote is? You just have to put a couple words into it. Paranoia, tension, that's about it. All right, well, I think with that, it's time to vote and see how this ghost travel turns out. Uh, Troy, you're up first. <laughs> Sorry, you are one of the nicest people I've ever met, but one of the biggest threats in this game. And I know you want me out.
what Jada whispered in my ear? She said, um, vote for Rachel because like they're not besties or something. Like she was like, oh we're not we're not friends, we're like enemies. Now that I haven't reached out to you, but like vote Rachel. And I was like, wait, but Rachel reached out to me and she said to vote Jada. So I was like thinking like, oh my god. And then Jada like straight up like eliminates my lie out of nowhere. Like I was like, dude, we finished the challenge because I knew that they didn't have musty. And then out of nowhere, Jada's like, so they asked Jada, how many challenges have you done? And I literally told her, I think that they they think that we have completed all the challenges. She's like, oh, we had a few challenges left that we didn't complete. And I'm like, bro, come on, are you kidding me, bro? Like, this girl, like, I don't know what she's trying to play here. She literally had my vote, but then she did that shit. Like, oh my god, bro. Like, some people just don't understand, like, simple things. I'm gonna vote Jada, because she, she's actually a snake, bro. Like, that was actually, like, messed up. Like, I literally told her in front of her face, like, they think that we have immunity, so they're not gonna vote for you. And she's like, no, that's not gonna happen. This is what happens when you don't listen to me. Like, I don't understand. If it doesn't get voted out, I don't really give a damn. But like, she has my vote. How's votes? Uh, I have the votes. However, before I read them, it's time for the ghost tribal twist to finally be in play which means I'll reveal who, which of you seven are safe and basically have an idol played on you. Um, with that being said, by winning by almost 100 points, Hygera wins immunity. Yeah, yeah. What that means, any votes that have a Hygera's name on them do not count and are, are canceled out, which means it'll be one of you seven leaving the game. Does that, does that make sense? All right, with that being said, before we vote, if anyone has an idol or an advantage that you play it, now would be the time to do so. I play it. <laughs> I want to play an idol. I'm not the one. Double thumb. Legend. Can you, you play it yourself? Well? This is a hidden me idol. All votes for Jada do not count. Votes for any of Hagira and all and, no, and all votes for Jada do not count, which means one of you use six. If there are any other idols or advantages you'd like to play it, now it's time to do so. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Which means all votes are final and the person with the most votes will be eliminated. Over the vote. Drew, does not count. <laughs> Second vote. Drew, does not count. Third vote. Drew, does not count. Another vote, another vote. Next vote. Jada, does not count. Jada, does not count. Brenna, there's one vote, Brenna. Brenna, two votes, Brenna. Brenna. That's three votes, Brenna, zero votes, anyone else. Brenna, that's four votes, Brenna, five votes left. The first, fifth person but a top plus survivor, season three, Brenna. Unfortunately, that's enough. Please come bring me your torch. Unfortunately, Brenna, you got it. All right, y'all, that was one hectic, crazy tribal. Another idol played, seven people saved, lots of whispering. Um, it's clear there's a lot going on, so uh, we'll see what happens next challenge, but I'll see you guys for that. Um, head back, and yeah. I understand. Do you want to give me one of those? I put a lot of trust into Lizeth and Nick. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, I did hear them whispering my name at one point. I heard Nick say it, so I was like, oh, maybe he's saying, like, guys, let's not vote for her. 
Lizeth and Nick, like, I believe in you and you got this, but... Don't get out now. We just need you for the numbers. <laughs> If you're gonna tell everybody on my tribe that I'm voting for them, then I'm gonna tell them what a massive bitch you are. Should have sassed Lexi. Uh, I thought this would look more cooler on my resume, but uh, uh, I don't even know what's gonna happen tonight. Just brain's not me. I don't know why everyone's making it complicated. We're all voting for the same person. Stop it, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> we'll do another one. Yeah. Hey, hey, I got to turn your hand on the pool thing. This is scary, bro. Hey. That was it. <laughs> uh,